Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, The Stages and Prevention Methods. This module is part three of a three-part series. The liver is the largest organ inside your body. It has many important purposes, which can be obstructed if the liver becomes too fatty. In this course, the objective is to help you explain how non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is diagnosed and identify how to treat or prevent NAFLD. If any type of liver disease is suspected, your doctor will order certain tests to confirm. Diagnostics will begin with a physical exam. The doctor will check your height and weight, which will then be calculated to determine your body mass index, or BMI. The doctor will then look for signs of enlarged liver, signs of insulin resistance, which includes darkened skin patches on your body, and signs of cirrhosis, such as jaundice. Blood tests will then be ordered to look for any abnormalities. Examples of these tests would be a liver function test, complete blood count, and a fasting blood sugar test. If the examination and blood test results confirm suspicions, imaging studies can then be ordered for further evaluation. These imaging tests will look for fat in your liver, inflammation in your liver, and nodules on your liver. An ultrasound uses sound waves to create an image of the liver structure. A CT scan or computerized tomography may be ordered with contrast, which is an injection of a special dye that serves as a medium. The CT scan can affirm tumors, infections, and fatty infiltrations of the liver. Magnetic resonance elastography checks for fat in the liver and stiffness of the liver, which would indicate fibrosis or scarring. In extreme cases, the doctor may want to take a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and observe how badly your liver has been damaged. The biopsy will also be examined for inflammation and scarring. There's currently no medical or drug treatment for NAFLD. However, there are some things that you can do to prevent the development of a fatty liver. You should eat a healthy diet, limit the amount of salt and sugar intake, avoid red meat, white bread, and fried foods, and add lots of fruits and leafy green vegetables to the menu. You should also include whole grains and nuts, which are high in fiber, fish, fish oil, vegetable oil, and things high in omega-3 fatty acids like flaxseed oil are great resources for decreasing the excess fat that may be stored in the liver. Incorporating a regular exercise routine can help prevent and even sometimes reverse liver damage. If you're overweight, you have an increased risk of fatty liver and complications thereof. Losing as minimal as 5-10% to of your body weight can reduce the amount of fat in your liver. Make an appointment with your primary care doctor to discuss any concerns you may be having. Your doctor may refer you to someone who specializes in the liver, such as a gastroenterologist or hepatologist. Sometimes medication usage or changes can cause buildup of fat in the liver. That is one of the reasons why it's so important to follow medication directions closely to avoid putting any extra stress on the liver. It is very important that you check with your doctor before stopping any medications. If your doctor speculates that this may be the cause, he or she will instruct you on how to wean off or switch to a different medicine. Taking strides to lower cholesterol and triglycerides, control your diabetes, and avoid alcohol as much as possible. Getting vaccinated against viruses that can lead to further liver damage, like hepatitis A and B, is another great tool in prevention. There are many studies showing that vitamins and supplements, especially vitamin E, can improve liver function and prevent liver damage. Other vitamins recommended for a fatty liver would be milk thistle, turmeric, black seed oil, phosphatidylcholine, probiotics, vitamin C, and niacin. However, research is still being done, and some studies have shown severe complications from the use of vitamin E and others. Always talk to your doctor before beginning any supplement regimen. If NASH leads to cirrhosis, treatment can include prescription medications, surgery, and a liver transplant if you experience liver failure. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part three of this three-part series on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease.